straight up. That looks like something out of the aisle. I'm probably not gonna make it. I think that's a 
They might be. Alright guys. We're gonna have to get looks around. Like, looks like we gotta get moving. I'll check in with you guys when we get to the reptile gardens. If we make it. Alright guys, we made it to reptile gardens. But barely. If we would have had more storage on that camera, you would have seen us panicking as we realized we were running out of gas. You just seen Dustin driving like a NASCAR driver. <laughs> <laughs> that storm was so bad, it was crazy. But hey, we're finally here. We're gonna go look at some living reptiles today before we go dig up some dead ones. Dig up some dead ones. <laughs> <laughs> Steven's hyped. This is yes. like his favorite place in yep. the world. That's why I've been wanting to go here for a long time. I was here when I was a kid, and now uh, I'm back. Uh oh, did I just start recording? Keep in mind, you yeah, more than okay. once on this edition. But if you want to come back, you guys out on the ground, we have two wooden posters that look like this. All right, well, we're in the reptile gardens now. Yay. <laughs> We found some cool stuff that we want to get in the gift shop, so the we'll stop back like through there. 100% the best gift shop I've ever been to. Hell yeah, it's awesome. Most the alligators can't really jump out of the water. The water's not quite deep enough for them. Uh, heel. You, you probably will, yeah. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> All right, over's next. Oh, we got the pool. Yeah, you gotta get them a little higher. Well, I can't reach very well. There you go. You want me to scoot that down a little bit? Yeah. No, <laughs> look at that kid over there. <laughs> awesome. You can grab further down in your pole, too. It might be a little bit easier. Or you can speed the crap out of it there. Where's it hard? There we got it. Pull, 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 pull. Nice. Good job. He did. That's because of sweetheart. Cutie. <laughs> Cutie. <laughs> you got so that's great. That's that's the closest thing we got to uh, a real life raptor. I mean, they are raptors. What do most raptors do all day in the wild? Ninety-five percent perching. <laughs> Dude, you are, you are all face. <laughs> You look like you're from that one show, <laughs> uh, South Park. Is that Bill? That's the question. That's Bill! Dude. I know that guy! <laughs> you don't know nothing. Nice to meet you. Hello there, long neck boy. What up, big pimpin'? This is a good day to be outside. Look at those claws. He's showing them off. Yeah. Yeah, we're going inside the big dome now. The main attraction. Oh my god!
gigantic. It's the Black Mamba. The Black Mamba, my friends. There in the back. It is the second longest venomous snake in the world. Oh, look at that bad, bad mamma jamma. That's gotta be one of the coolest snakes. I had no idea they got this big. Hello, little guy. Not little guy, sorry. Ugh. Huge, he's huge. They, they don't ever move, and this dude's like, what up? Uh, I party, you party? And I'm like, yeah, I party. <laughs> I party, you party? Jeez. Yeah, guys, I think it's gonna about do it for our reptile gardens adventure. They're gonna be closing soon anyway, so we gotta get going. Last thing to see, the largest turtle that ever existed. Oh, this giant turtle lived at the same time as the Tyrannosaur, so yeah, they were... Wait, like maybe this then? Yeah. I mean, not obviously maybe like this big, but maybe the same type. Like, I think these are sea turtles, so... Well, it says, no living sea turtle seems to be the direct descendant of this amazing creature. Damn. Tree of life has many dead ends, Ed Boyd. Right. This right here, this is how you make hobos over fire. Perfect amount of wood to air ratio built into there. And I put the logs in the perfect position to cook the tires of food. I'm pretty much like a 9 out of 10 at survival stuff, so unless I didn't have aluminum foil. I think that's probably going to be it for today, guys. We will talk to you guys tomorrow. Did you see the crocodile? They saw the crocodile. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow when we're heading out to the dig site. It's going to be great. I'm going to find you next. Hell yeah. Say goodbye, love. to the dig site again. Yeah, I'm super hyped, super excited. <laughs> Did you hear what that guy's code name was? What was it? Sorry. Nice! <laughs> Hell yeah, so this is gonna be great. I'm so hyped. Uh, can't wait to get out there with you guys. I checked with Walter, so we're good to put the drone up when we get out there. 
so I'll get you guys a good view of the surrounding area and uh, we might get a chance to interview Walter for a while so that'll be really cool look forward to that all right guys The big hill. Oh, he's gone in it. Let's do it. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Woo! Everybody, lean right quick. Lean right. <laughs> Woo! That is quite the incline. We're here! We've done it! Here we are guys, the Tooth Draw Quarry. It is so good to be back. There's bones in them Dar Hills. Yeah, right down there is where we dug last year. It looks so different now. <laughs> they cleared out a whole section of topsoil over here on the right side. Yeah, that works. I'll help. I'll help Mr. Man over here. So just a quick story, guys. Uh, before you run off, I'll tell you a little bit about the history of this area. Um, history, uh, you know, we didn't find this site. I don't, I don't take the credit for finding this site. This was actually found by the rancher's first wife. Her name was Mary Ann Licking. And she was a wonderful woman, I'm told. Unfortunately, she passed away before I got a chance to meet her. But Mary Ann, she, uh, she loved dinosaurs like you guys. And she, would, she was in the 70s and the 80s. She would hike up and down all these badlands and buttes and she'd look for, look for dinosaur fossils. And in the 70s, she'd go up to some of the academic institutions in this area and, and say, hey, I think we've got dinosaurs on our ranch. And most of the time she was ignored. Finally, 2006 rolled around and we came along. We got contract for the whole ranch, about 6,000 some acres here. And uh, we worked on a triceratops skeleton on the east side. That one's called Ruthie. Collected that one. And one day the rancher comes up to me and he says, Say, you know, we've got this spot we call Tooth Draw. Uh, and I think it's a really cool site. We take our family down there. Some of our church groups go down. They've been digging in there every once in a while. But uh, we can't get any professionals in there interested. I said, okay. Well, what, uh, what do you have in it? And he says, well, I better show you. 
I, best I tell it. Best, best I show you. So he goes down into his basement of his basement bunker there, and he pulls out a box about yay big, and he starts picking out one T-Rex tooth after the next. <laughs> right? Three-inch tooth, two-inch tooth. And then he's got some really weird vertebrae in there from Anzu and some strange you know, old raptorids and some strange, strange stuff. He starts putting down the table, all kinds of cool microfossils and whatnot. And uh, pretty soon he's got about sixty thousand dollars in T-Rex teeth alone sitting on his kitchen table. And uh, of course, I turned to him and said, "Yeah, I think I want to work that. <laughs> yeah, that looks interesting. Take me to this spot." <laughs> Um, but anyway, and since that time, um, since we really got started working here in about 2009, 2010 was when we really got serious about it. Um, took off the top layers, began digging. Um, so yeah, we've gotten thousands of bones in that one little area. When I first got here, I started mapping it. So I traced it all the way across this gully here. It shows up on another spot we call BTD over there. Then it goes under this grass, shows up down the hill in the latrine. Anyway, it goes under this what we call battleship unit here. It goes under that, shows up in our spot called Tooth Draw West. Uh, this is where you were working yesterday, Bob. Mm -hmm. It's where you guys are going to be working today. Uh, and back in 2009, one of the first bones I found over at Tooth Draw West in this river channel was the end of a T-Rex tibia. Beautiful T-Rex tibia. It had been weathering out for years. Half of it was already gone and down the hillside. So, you guys have to find some more of this disarticulated T-Rex, as well as some nice common stuff for yourself and maybe some more science science stuff. You, I think the best one I've seen from you is the, the Thestosaurus claw, which you found yeah. over First there. First week. Yeah. First week, yeah. Wow. I got cushions. You're awesome. more than welcome to take more than one if you'd like. And I've seen them with cushions. I'm like, ooh, that would have been a good idea. Yeah, you want to just we got a bunch of stuff to carry, guys. I'll see. We'll, we'll pick this back up down at the site. First thing we're going to put the camp in before I do anything else, and it's like Steven's been kind enough to start us off. I'm going to get up top there, and I'm going to hand off some string so if I can get first to stand on the corners, yep. and we're going to walk it back basically. Alright, we're going to get set up guys. I'll catch up with you in a minute. You'll, you'll get tired of seeing Garfield scales. <laughs> get a good, a few couple good ones, and then um, the rest of them, you can add it to the collective file for kids that don't or naughty kids or whatever okay. and they're, they're on their own, so. Make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good. So yeah. I'm gonna get you some glue. I'll take the very um, delicate I believe you could work right here. Okay. You work right and here. Yeah, I just lay a knee pad like down right here? Yeah, and knee, knee pad and then screening. Let me show you screening real quick and then we'll be done. Right, Gotta done. screen. If you don't screen, you end up being naughty and I have to put you in the corner, okay? Yes, we, we don't want to hit that, so. I wouldn't go any further over than that, Steven, so. If I were you, I'm focusing on just this little overachiever here is already finding stuff. Yeah, did you show him my pile? Um, so what you're doing, but, and I also found I oh, that's okay right there. Right See now, it? So, it was shiny. Um, yeah, exactly. See, <laughs> look at that. She's just picking them up. So sand. Yep, it's all sand. See, because I was looking for the poorest parts yeah, of it. It's fine. And this will take a little while. You're not going to get it right away. Right. Unless you were Kaylee. <laughs> um, but it may take an hour. What I want you to do is really pay attention to what's rock versus bone. Okay. Right? So it's going to look different in the screen as well than it is in the ground. Get yeah. bone, rock, rock, rock. That's bone. And then look at this color again. It's easier in the light. Definitely dark. 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 You're looking for really dark, rich, black, or brown. 
Because I mean, personally, I don't see much anything in this, in this okay. screen. And when you're comfortable, after going through it, you stir it up a little bit more. And you might want to get, you know, Kaylee's got good eyes. I think um, Dustin was pretty good last time, too, from what I remember. Now that, you get some plant material in here, some carbon stuff. Yeah, I actually got a plant is. fossil exactly. from last time. It's basically, think of the bottom of a pond. Yeah. All those twigs and leaves that are broken up, that's what that stuff is that you oh. just had in your hand. Okay. So play around the screen for a few minutes if you want. You got a nice spot to dig right here. You got bone already. Yeah, I was going to start probably on that. Yeah, that and I will, I'll cool. come over and, and I'll walk you through how I would actually dig that up. I'm going to okay. help Steve real quick. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I got it, man. Okay. That's, a, that's part of the, this is part of the cheat bones. And you're welcome to any of this stuff. I got to get a baggie for Haley, for, or Kaylee for that. So. You're welcome to any of this stuff. I okay. try to give it to people who haven't found anything. Yeah. You're going to find yeah. stuff. Yeah. You're not going to want this stuff. <laughs> this is like the charity case, right? You're not going to be a charity case today. So. Hopefully not. Okay. So let me get some baggies started for you. Yeah, play around that screen. Do that last screen again. Try right. to figure out and do it in the light. All right. Do the screen in the light. You got it right there beside you, and it will open up the world a little bit uh, bigger for you. So. Oh, what's this love? Triceratops bigger tooth. The it like it wiggled out when I was brushing it. Mm -hmm. The tip is like still in here. Oh, nice. Yeah, tendon. And very, very, very small tip of a tooth right here. Oh, yeah, Man, you guys are deep in here. Yeah. Did you see my fish tooth? No. This is my fish tooth. It's so tiny. See that, like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but, like, there's a tiny, like, little ring around the tip of it, which I thought was, like, super cool. Yeah. And I found another, oh. Oh, no. Just a bone fragment. Um, this is either a turtle or a theropod. I want a pregnant. turtle shell chunk this big, Dustin. Oh, wow. That big. Wow. And wrapped in tin foil in a box. Oh, my God. I got to see that. And a tree. Spit or Right. Yeah. I'm going to go take a look. I got something I'm working on over here. Ow. <laughs> you have two different pieces here. This one and this one. They look like they're just small pieces. So you see how is, okay. they're on the back side of that? Right there. Oh, here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got some serious yeah, sheen to good it. Good eyes, man. I didn't even see that. All right, so again, we're working from the top down on that. Just uncovered more. Yep. It's bone. Could just be a splinter of something at this point. Yeah. And use the knife gently. It's yeah. and stuff. Brushing. Oh look, keeps going. Yeah. Goes into the back there. This we may not be able to work on this until you start working on that. Yeah. Because it's under here. That was home. Okay. Not so clean. All cool. right. So Steve here has yeah, been working on this for breaking into 500 pieces. <laughs> <laughs> how, long, how many days have you been working on this? This is just the second day. Second day. Actually, it's. The first uh, fourth of a day, I didn't, I hadn't found this yet. So, and then yesterday I was here, but I didn't work here. I worked at another site. So, it's just this morning. So it's really two thirds of one day and half of this day. So. Now we've seen it. It's, it's coming. Looks like a leg bone. Yeah, we think that might be it because this is like your joint. Yeah. We haven't exposed it all, but. That's like where another piece this wide would come together, like where your knee's at, in other words. Yeah. Like a tricer, you know, where like a triceratops, where they're the one part of the leg and the foot. So it's like where the this part and this other part of the leg come together. Yeah. I think. But it, you know, That's what it looks like to me too. Who knows? You know, when we get it all out, then they'll tell me what it is. But uh, that's what it kind of looks like. Because it's <laughs> that's pretty just thick awesome. to be a anything other than a leg bone. Yeah. This wide. It's no other part of the body like with most of Thinking it's a trike? Well if it if it's a four legged, yeah, it probably is most likely triceratops. On the other hand, it could be part of the like an Admonosaurus, the four the forearms. Because mm -hmm. they were they would sometimes walk on four legs. And uh 
so they have to be kind of muscular up, up front. It's a heckin' chonker. Yeah, I'm gonna get my money's worth on this one by the weight. Uh oh, the flies are gonna attack it. I see a dead body. <laughs> get out of here. Oh, thanks for letting me get up in there, Steve. No problem. If you want to get, uh, let me let me dust it off. Yeah, here. Let me. Unfortunately, we got the shadow there. Very cool. Awesome. Hunk it out of your way. Okay. Um, yeah, Dr. Eric also said he found it. Alright guys, yeah, we're hitting lunch. Got a couple good couple hours of digging in already. Steve's got a piece he's hunting in. I got a good little collection of fossils. Kaylee's already got a pile. Yeah, we're gonna get hydrated. Always remember to stay hydrated. Get some food and probably get some drone shots while we're on lunch. All right, lunch is over. We're heading back to the dig. We've all got our little projects we're working on. I can't wait to show you guys everything we've got. We're gonna be chatting it up with Walter in a little while. Walter Stein, the mad scientist behind this whole program. It's gonna be great. He's gonna come visit us in a couple of hours. In the meantime, let's keep digging and see what we can find. Yeah, I guess I'm working on a a turtle shell here. Been here working on this for hours now, but it, it just keeps going. Usually these are actually in pretty small chunks because they're very brittle. But yes, they are. We got two over here. Two good sized chunks that are right up against the bone. Yeah, they're right up against it. Here's the rest of it. That's a good size. There's a whole lot more still here. They're very fragile. Let me give uh, the viewers an update on your project here, Steve. Look at this. Okay. It's on a pedestal of dirt. Dirt and rock. So you guys are going to try to get this out of here without plaster? Correct. 
it's a solid enough mass of uh, bone that I don't feel it's a, much of a concern as far as if breaking in pieces. Yeah, it looks to be quite intact. It's a pretty massive object, so there's been a couple pieces on the edges that have broken on me, but I glued them back. But as far as the main specimen, it's, it's got to hold together, I think, if you lift it. That's awesome. You just have to be gentle and get it free. I got moisture here, so now I'm starting to make a little progress with the exacto line. It's like sand. What are you guys working on? I personally have no idea, but I have a bone here so far that I can see, and then here. I don't know if they're like somehow connected or if they're separate. Steven? I'm just waiting on Stein to come in. Tell me what to do with this. Big, massive. Oh, yeah, here, chunk. why don't you. Shell camera. You can see here this is apparently the shelling of a turtle in the rib bone. Very cool stuff. Take your piece. Yeah, that's, that's some really, because it gets so windy. Yeah. Uh, I think he said last week they had like 50 mile an hour winds here. And if you combine that with solid pieces of ice, it's lethal. Yeah. Especially when it comes sideways. What can you tell me that is? That is a piece of ironstone. Cool. <laughs> yes, one pebble of ironstone. Sorry. Well, I'd been working on this turtle all day. Made a mess of it, but uh -oh. here's the larger piece. Are these all pieces of it? Yeah, those are all parts of the same shell. Oh boy. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. Okay, all right, all right. I have to do some surgery here. You might want to leave this with us and have us prep it. Yeah, sure. I don't know how many hours it would take. Something to think about. We usually have a $100 minimum charge, but might be able to make that better than what it is. Goes there. Okay. Let's get the puzzle going. Where's your glue? You uh, right there. There you go. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
So these turtles we're finding, yeah, they're not like sea turtles. No. Like, no, no. These are. Or it'd be like a modern analog. Uh, they're pond turtles. Like painted? Uh, kind of. Uh, there's one called Basilemes, which is a, a giant ground tortoise. Oops. This. Fragment. Thank you. Have you been to reptile gardens on Wilter? Have I done what? I've uh, been to reptile gardens. Oh, yeah. It's that big uh, skeleton of that sea turtle they have in there. They'd say it has like no known descendants of it. or Archelon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Uh huh. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, they're, they're cool. They, they sh Those are animals you can find out in those marine rocks we were driving across to get here. Oh, really? Yeah, it's from the Pure Shale. Now that particular specimen came from from south uh, western South Dakota at a at a spot south of the hills. Um, but you can find find them in these rocks right around here. Oh, really? Yeah. Gentle, gentle. Yes. Switch to your smaller brush. Switch to the smaller brush because that whisk broom will scrape it too much. I'm going to glue the outer edge. We're going to find the rest of it. Not really a turtle. Alright, so. Where did he come from? Right in here. Okay. I see some little pieces. Let's grab some of those pieces. Right there. Is there anything else that came out? She has the stingray too. Okay. So it came from right in there somewhere, yeah. huh? to do I will let that dry for a second but I'll hold it and brace it with one finger and we're gonna cut above it and we're just gonna carefully scrape off that sand until we can get down to it okay, we're dealing. Whoop, you little stinker oh get off there just beat it a little bit longer. Turning it over to you. You get a better angle on it. Let that dry and then slowly scrape yeah. down. Chase it. Yeah. 
and your other hand should try and hold it if you can. Oh, what you got right there? Make it look like that. All right. This is also probably another turtle bone. And So does all this field work give you a better appreciation as a preparator, Stephen? Oh, yeah. Well, see, I know this is totally different, but uh, I enjoy anything to do with dinosaurs to begin with. But... Take a look mm -hmm. at that beauty. Mm. So that's a crocodile? Not quite sure yet. What I want to do is get it prepped and do some research, compare it to it. A lot of times when we get them out of the ground, we don't know exactly what they are until we've done a little bit of work for them. Uh, get it nicely cleaned up, compare it to other things. Um, it doesn't look dinosaur, possibly a femur. This end here looks very femoral. This one not so much, so not quite sure yet. But it's in one piece and we'll get it back to the lab. Awesome. See what she is. Yeah, that thing's in beautiful condition. Yes. It Looks like it came right off of the top. It's right off that top horizon, right underneath the sand. So, pack it up. As for me right now, straining, looking for, <laughs> looking for black gold, not oil. <laughs> All right, guys, we're all done with the dig. Oh, I'm beat. It's been one hell of a trip. We got one more night at the campsite. But man, this was a blast. I can't wait to get this video up for you guys to see it. I will talk to you guys again soon. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Love you. Appreciate you. Peace. And again, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you did enjoy this video. We've got more coming up. I want to review all of the fossils with you guys, but I gotta wait till we get back from our next trip to do that. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button if you guys did enjoy this and wanna see more. Again, love you guys, appreciate you. I'll let Walter here play us out. I'm like, they can see this and then the final product when it's all done. Yeah. I see there's some pitting on the one side there. See the circular pitting? Yeah. We get a lot of um, uh, insect borings in some of this. So this, this was probably exposed to the elements for some time before it finally got washed into uh, the river system and got buried. But you can see this, uh, the microabrasion cleans it up quite nicely. Yeah. I mean, cleans it up quickly, gets rid of some of that excess glue. Now, if you're at home trying to prep this without this, it would take forever. Yeah. Do. Given the state of your poor turtle, it's probably going to take me forever to do it. <laughs> <laughs> My <But> apologies. <laughs> that's okay. I'm definitely going to make sure I use enough glue next time. <laughs> well, actually, that's not quite the right thing. You want to use the right amount of glue in the right locations. If you right. use too much glue, like we have here, it takes forever to clean it up. Okay. If you don't use enough glue, it winds up falling apart. You gotta find that sweet middle. It's 
Exactly. We gotta find that happy balance. Make it more of a consistent application. Yes. Instead of like, oh, it's starting to fall apart now. Yes. Yeah. Lather it in glue. Yes. Yeah. You want to get this. Uh, you want to get that bicarb into the fractures and cracks, not on the surface. So yeah, I'd say this one was sitting out on the floodplain for some time before it eventually got uh, buried. So you were talking about like the insect holes that the insects make? Mm -hmm. Is that before it's fossilized? Well, that's before it's fossilized, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, the insects were burrowing into it, it looks like. Wow, that is so that cool. That is really cool, yeah. They were munching around, they were, they were still feasting. Uh, gentleman up at University of Kansas would argue that some of these are uh, dermestid beetles, but another academic friend of mine says, we better not call it dermestid beetles yet. Okay. We're not sure exactly what's causing these. So, that's a little bit about how it's done, and then you take your exact blades or your dental picks and slowly work off some of that other stuff that you can't get with the abrasion.